What's up Mariners, this is Abhilaj Thakur and welcome to Sailor's Guide. Alright guys, so today we are going to start with the rule number one and we will go by part by part and first I have written over here is part A which is, uh, you, uh, it is also given in your ROR book, it is as for the book here and I will try to explain all of it. Also uh, first thing first that you need to understand that uh, the meaning of the ROR you should be very thorough with it. Remembering it, mugging it up is the second part. So first thing is that you need to understand what the rules are. Okay. So if you find this video is slow for you, this is going to be a long video. Okay. If you find this video is a, a little bit slow for you, you can increase the speed in your uh, in your YouTube setting and you can watch it in 1.25 or 1.5 whichever is comfortable for you but do watch the full video so that you can understand uh, the rule number one and I will also put the videos regarding rule number two three and so on up to rule number 41 I will make a playlist and put all these videos in the playlist okay so let's start with the rule number one first and we will go with the part A first okay so i have written here as it is also given in your book you can open up your book and match these things also and you can go through the book also and this video also uh, i mean side by side okay here it is written these rules shall apply to all vessels upon the high seas and in all waters connected there with navigable by seagoing vessels okay so so uh, as you know that uh, the first rule is application application itself explain it that where these rules are going to get applied okay where m to whom so this is the first part which is going as the clear indication where these rules are going to get applied where it will apply these rules shall apply to all vessels it will apply to all the vessels which vessels upon the high seas this is very important because you need to understand that the vessels who are upon the high seas like oceans and seas that these rules will apply these rules means the rules which are in the ROR and in all water connected there with navigable by sea going vessel okay this is very important to understand as you can see they have covered the ocean in the sea part and also they have covered the waters which are connected there with navigable by sea going vessel it means the water which are connected to the seas and also they are navigable by sea going vessel so these two terms need to be uh, i mean uh, they, these two terms it should be connected and it should be navigable by sea going vessel these two terms to, uh, uh, to be considered when we are going to apply these rules okay as you can see in india also we have uh, uh, river ports like in kolkata and uh, that is uh, the, that is the river port that is not on the seas okay so but the rules are also applied there because the uh, because it is connected to the sea and also the sea going vessels can go there they are navigable by the sea going vessel that area okay so that is what the first part the first part says uh, the part a says that it will be uh, only applied to the vessel on the high seas and in the water navigable by sea going vessels very simple and let's jump into the b part okay guys i have written the b part now it looks very big i know but uh, we're going to break it down into pieces and it will be easy to understand and remember also. So uh, let's start with the words. Nothing in these rules shall interfere with the operation of special rules made by an appropriate authority. Up to here we will break it down. So it simply says that uh, anything which is in the ROR will not interfere with the operation of special rules made by an appropriate authority. Appropriate authority means uh, a body which has been uh, given some power over some things like harbor, rivers, lakes by the government. Okay, that are the appropriate authorities. 
they have made some special rules regarding the port or uh, in uh, or regarding the navigation in the lakes or the rivers maybe they may have some uh, different signals little bit different so nothing in these rules which are the rules of the ror will not interfere with the rules special rules made by an appropriate authority and what are those appropriate authority that is the authority for roadstead harbor river lakes or inland waterways huh? inland waterways which waterways which are connected with high seas and navigable by sea going vessel which we have covered in the a part that these rules only applicable where uh, where the vessel where the sea going vessel can navigate okay simply on the high seas or the inland waterways which are connected so here they have uh, said that if a vessel is navigating here uh, in the sea and the navigable by sea going vessel appropriate authority can make some special rules regarding uh, the harbor river and lakes okay and it will not interfere with the any of the rules in ror so such special rules shall conform as closely as possible to these rules it means it simply means if any appropriate authority has made some special rules for the vessel who are navigating in their areas which is harbor lakes or rivers those rules shall not be so differ that it creates a conflict or maybe some confusion okay it should be as close as possible to the rules of the ror it's very simple so it looks big but the meaning is very simple yeah i know uh, mugging it up it can be a little task but understanding it it's very easy okay so you can go word by word and understand what is written here understanding of the rule is more important okay so we have covered the b part i think there are no doubts about it and we will go to the c part now which is bigger than this one so don't worry we will break it down also and it will be easy for you guys okay guys so i have written the c part here i know still it's one of the biggest part of this rule and <laughs> it looks scary and when you try to mug it up it is not easy but that is why i am telling you it is important to understand it first so that you can remember it for a longer time even in the orals time if you remember few things of it you can rephrase it by using your own words not go as word to word because it is impossible to do that but we are for uh, technical terms you need to be thorough with it okay so let's start with the c part we will divide this entire part into few sections like we have done in the b section and it will be easier to understand so uh, we will go uh, from the beginning nothing in these rules shall interfere for any special rule made by the government okay so as it was very clear in the section b the same thing has been repeated over here little bit difference just nothing in these rules shall interfere for any special rule so uh, whatever the rule uh, uh, rules are given in the ror they will not interfere which are the special rules made by the government which was the same in b part also but here they have changed the thing the rules have been made for they have changed the for additional station signal lights shapes or whistle signal whistle signal basically means sound signals okay so they if the government has put some additional station or signal light shapes or whistle for whom for ship of war ship of war means a warship and for whom vessel proceeding under convoy so there are two vessels they have made they can made uh, the special rules that is light for for the light shapes of the vessel of warship or the vessel proceeding under the convoy which, which basically means a vessel of war only because uh, warships uh, normally go with the convoy also sometimes so the vessel who are going uh, with the convoy convoy means a group and with respect to the additional station or signal shape the same thing is which is given over here it is repeated or with respected additional station or signals or shapes 
that is for station signals or shapes for fishing vessel so this is the third vessel which we are talking about so first vessel is the warship vessel under convoy and the other one is the fishing vessel so these three ships they can make special rules for the lights shapes and whistle signals which is sound signals okay engaged in fishing which is fishing vessel engaged in fishing as a fleet this is the condition on the fishing vessel fleet means as a group okay these additional station signals lights or shapes or whistle signal shall so far as possible be such that they cannot be mistaken okay so basically what they have said as this told in the section b if they if the government has made some uh, different light shapes or vessel signals for the vessel who are warship convoy and the fishing vessel which is in the fleet for these three vessels if they have made some special rules for light shapes and vessel signals or additions station it should be as far as possible such that they cannot be mistaken it means it should not be contradicting the rules of the part let's say if in the rules for NUC it is two red lights in a vertical line yeah for the light signal but they have put these lights on the warship for some reason for special rules then it can create a conflict because from the vessel who is coming from the outside may mistakenly take this vessel as an NUC vessel NUC means not under command which we will cover in rule number three so so you, you you see here the signal can misinterpret it okay it can create a conflict it can create a confusion uh, in navigation so the signal should not be such that it can create a conflict or confusion or any uh, so that it can be it cannot be mistaken okay it, it cannot be mistaken that is very important for any light shape or the signal authorized elsewhere under these rules basically that is what they have told that it should not contradict with any of the rules of this part which means the ROR all right so I think that is it is so uh, you can see this much big thing is has a very small meaning because the there is a word repetition of words again and again this is the technicality because uh, in the rules they have to put every details uh, for the people otherwise they can create a loophole and get out of it so that is why they have written all the things again and again and again and again but for understanding it is very simple okay for mugging it up but now you know the meaning it will be easier to uh, i mean remembering it for a long time okay so now we will jump on to the d part which is very small and i will erase it up write it down and then we'll go to the d part all right guys so i have written the d part here D part is very small and very simple. It's just a traffic separation scheme may be adopted by the organization for the purpose of these rules. It's very simple as it is. Organization stands for the IMO here, which is International Maritime Organization, which makes all the rules. They can adopt a traffic separation scheme. Now, what is traffic separation scheme okay now the important part is the traffic separation scheme now what is traffic separation scheme it's nothing it's just like when you are driving on the road yeah by your car you can see the lanes on the road is the same if you see the lanes on the chart or on the disc uh, so that it uh, does not create uh, the confusion uh, where there is a dense traffic area yeah in the dense traffic area they usually put the TSS so that they can follow the uh, lanes and there are no confusions okay there is also a rule for this TSS that is rule number 10 yeah that we will cover up one by one okay there are some rules which are only applicable in the TSS which is rule number 10 okay guys so uh, this is very clear and it's nothing complicated here so we will jump on to the next part that is E part that is also a big one like the C part but it's nothing to worry about because that is also very simple to understand it's just uh, a lengthy thing and the words repetition is the same and also it has the same kind of a meaning only which we have discussed in the B part and the C part okay it's just a little bit difference of the words okay so I'll erase it up write it down the E part and I will explain it also break it down it for you okay okay guys so I have uh, written an E part over here as you can see it looks a very big one 
like the same as the part C and uh, D part but uh, uh, it doesn't matter because the meaning of this part is very simple so just we will go line by line whenever the government concerned shall have determined that a vessel of special construction or purpose cannot comply fully with the provision of these rules now what they are saying is the government should determine this thing if if any vessel who has some special construction for some purpose okay and they cannot comply fully with the provision of the rules it means the rules which are given in the ROR they are not able to comply it because of their special construction okay with respect to what with respect to what things they cannot comply the number position range or arc of the visibility of light shapes as well as the deposition and characteristics of the sound signal what things they cannot comply is these things because of the construction they could not able to match the number position range or arc of the visibility of light shapes and sound signal so it means these things they cannot comply because of the construction so the government should determine it okay they should determine it and they should make sure that these things are as close as possible to the ROR uh, it should not create any confusion okay so that it doesn't create any conflict with the ROR you can see the last line is given here it should have determined to be the closest possible compliance with these rules the middle part is the same thing which has been repeated over here you can see a vessel shall comply with the such provision in regard to the number position range and arc of the visibility and characteristics of the sound signal appliances same thing has been repeated okay but here the government should determine that it is as close as possible to the compliance with these rules it means the government should be very very careful that they should be the, if they, any special construction because of that they could not follow the ROR but it should be as close as possible so that it doesn't create any confusion so that is what this whole part says I know this looks very big but it's very simple to understand yeah all right guys so this is all what we have in rule number one I have explained all the five parts from A to E and uh, I think this will be much easier for you guys to understand these things if you find this video helpful please press the like button and subscribe my channel press the notification bell so that you don't miss out the videos which i'm going to put after that okay guys this is abhilash thakur signing off